I was in denial a lot that I was even injured, and I was in denial that I even raided a Purple Heart for a while, um, which was difficult for me, you know, because, I mean, I had a lot of friends that have been more severely wounded physically than I had. During my fifth deployment, like I said, I was in uh, Afghanistan. There was four vehicles. I was the convoy commander, and then there was probably a squad reinforced uh, that was doing a dismounted uh, sweep, kind of on the outskirts of Marja in Afghanistan, so down in Helmand Province. They saw us coming. They went and did a hasty dig and then uh, in place the IED. When we got hit, it basically sounded like a water bottle filled full of air it went off. Um, I remember being hit, the whole front nose of the vehicle lifted up and I saw a blue sky. I remember my head hitting like the ceiling, but I was still conscious at that point. I remember there was a lot of smoke and dust inside like the cab. Um, I immediately realized that my eye pro was off my face and one of my gloves was off my hand. Um, I didn't have any pain, uh, like my adrenaline was going through like the roof. Um, the radio handset was not in my hand anymore, so my thing was, okay, where's that at? And I want to make sure that there's still power to the radio so I can talk. From there, um, I used the vehicle in front of me to give a 10-digit grid of where our location was. And then uh, I was told, hey, you need, you need to go call in a medevac for all three of you. So I proceeded to go call in the medevac, and then we waited, because then they, the guys on the ground needed to sweep and make sure there was no secondaries. From there, they pulled us outside of the vehicle, and we went to a uh, casualty uh, collection point. So they screened me and they said, hey, you have a grade three concussion and a, this thing called a TBI. And I'm like, okay, two weeks of light duty and you're good. So I passed all the psychological testing. They did a C scan on my brain. They said I was fine. So uh, I said, great, I wanna go back and mentor my guys. So my second week of light duty, I managed to get back. And then my battalion CO approached me and said, hey, I want you to stay inside the base. We, we want you to be in charge of firing one of the two guns that's gonna be permanently on standby to shoot. Uh, and I said, great. The next two months, roughly, I um, stayed inside the base, fired a cannon 30 to 40 times, the two highest powder charges. And as time went on, I started noticing slight symptoms, like, hey, we haven't fired the cannon in a week, why are my ears ringing? And I started noticing these weird headaches that were appearing. And I said, well, it's because it's hot, and I'm PTing, and I'm dehydrated. Then I started noticing this weird pressure on the left side of my face. Me being me, which is stubborn, um, well, I probably should have went and had it looked at. My uh, acting XO came over and said, hey, I hear you're jacked up. I want you to go to medical. In my jacked up thought process of everything, I'm thinking, I'm like, hey, I wonder if these two things are connected, firing the cannon and getting blown up, which it turns out it was because, you know, it takes, they say, unless the data's changed, nine months for your brain to pretty much establish its new baseline and heal from an original blast exposure or traumatic brain injury. Well, it was about a month for me or less. So basically being exposed to all that cannon fire was basically many more grade one concussions over and over again. So it was re-injuring my brain and all like the trauma. So from there, um, I was medevaced and I ended up in Germany for two weeks. And then there I got back stateside September 4th of 2010. Looking back and the steps I've had to take to establish my new baseline in life, um, I do accept my injuries now. The biggest thing that got me through this was, whether it was the PTSD aspect or like the TBI, if I continue to let this injury can, you know, control my life, then the Taliban, the insurgents, whoever it is, Al-Qaeda, then they're still winning. And I didn't want that. As a whole, it isn't too challenging anymore you know, for all these years. So it's seven years later, and I'm still trucking along. So yeah.